So, the South Rhodesia, an amazing African state. And we will do our best to make Rhodesia great again. And we definitely need to get a new manpower. But at least I am independent, I'm not a British lapdog. But my flag with the pickaxe, gosh, that's amazing. That's how true Minecraft players looks like. It all started in Rhodesia. The economy crashes, well, February 1936, I'm not surprised at all. Urgent news has just reached Salisbury this morning of the economic disaster that has begun to envelop the global Black Monday as it currently been called has seen our once prosperous economy plummeting in a fiery nosative towards the red. Stay calm and keep a stiff upper lip. Yeah, the situation in South Rhodesia in 1936 isn't good at all, but at least it's fixable. The Eagle up north. Middle Africa is now our main threat. The Hunnikin Weavers have snatched land rightfully belonging to the king in an unjust act of aggression, and now we must defend against them. As long as Middle Africa continues to threaten Rhodesia, we can never be safe. German colonialism and especially Middle Africa must die. Um, appointing the new governor? Well, we need to choose the first option. Enough with this silliness. The prime minister shall have true power. God save Godfrey Martin Huggins, a truly good leader of South Rhodesia. What a nice white man. Possible reformation of the land apportionment Act. The land is further strengthened and harshened. Here is the one of the most important questions in our today's campaign. The party's direction. Boys, the cabinet question, and there we will choose the second option. The left wing is misguided. So instead of this, I'll choose this. We failed to the right. A united Rhodesia. Man, I like that idea. United forever in friendship and labor. Mm-mm, that's still not the right moment for this song. Dominion of Afghanistan. Well, welcome to the club, buddy. Complaints from the United's left wing. Let them scream. A day in April. One of the most important focuses in our focus through line. Unable to successfully govern, the UFP coalition has decided to call a snap election. The United Party hopes to come out of this with a large enough share of seats to control the government, while Labour hopes to take the mantle of the government away from the UFP. The 1936 early general elections. The United Party wins as expected. Rock the boat. And that means what? That means the change in popularity of national populism and social conservatism. And then we will invite national populists in our coalition. The Rhodesian Front will support our government. This could have consequences. And with Burke. To the right of the aisle sits the Rhodesian Front, with their leader Desmond Lardner Burke. Burke. While not completely supportive of the UFP, is more than willing to work with us, if it can stop Rhodesia from being destroyed by perfidious rats. Internal UFP elections, and guess what? MPs loyal to the Rhodesian Front managed to take hold of the party. Mm hmm. That's gonna be the rise of the national populism. Boom, boys, here we go. We have even changed our flag on the Rhodesian one instead of the British colonial flag. Man, that's a great changes. Bro is literally hacking the system. This land is our land. And take a look on this map. Rhodesia is white. Does it mean something? Hmm, I think so. The home of our forefathers and the home of our children, the land where we till, the land that we call home. This is Rhodesia, and Rhodesia is our land, and it will continue to be our land until the end of the earth. Rhodesia will never die as long as the Rhodesian spirit lives in every one of our citizens. Dominion of Malta has officially joined the Entente. Well, this amazing flag truly worth it. Um, alright, Middle Africa has recently fully kicked out Portugal from Africa. Now we are almost encircled by traitors. And that's not good. 
Now I can count only on myself. Holy yeah, Middle Africa has started to collapse. That's the best scenario for us. That is the brightest day in the newest Rhodesian history. 15th of March 1938, Middle Africa has fully collapsed. Once and for all. Now I need to conquer North Rhodesia. Boys, I guess that the time has come to destroy traitors on the north. To destroy German imperialism in Northern Rhodesia. Bro isn't gonna make it. Damn, it looks like that someone will leave his capital in the next few days. Brudas, who did it? Now Lusaka is controlled by the Rhodesian army. I mean, liberated by the Rhodesian army. By the way, North Rhodesia has officially capitulated. Congratulations, Brudas, now that all is mine. Rhodesia has united. But I didn't forget about Barotsland. They must be destroyed as well. We need to get Western Rhodesia back. And probably a part of Mozambique. Western Rhodesia? Nice to meet you. Man, what a disgusting color. Bro isn't gonna hold our offensive. Dude, just look at this. He has a lot of resources and we will use it to make Rhodesia great again. Honestly, our new border is just amazing. Now Rhodesia is fully united. Zambia's destiny lies with the Anglo. The Wild Hoons couldn't keep us from our destiny. We true inheritors and timers of this dark continent have finally and fully wrested control of our fair colony out of the Kaiser's greedy hands. And with that, Rhodesia is ours. We shall begin work at once to formally create the Rhodesian Federation and build up the necessary system fit enough of our newfound statehood. No longer will we live and toil on the whims of a foreign king. For now we are free to live and work this land as we please. Rhodesia forever. O oh, Rhodesia may she be worthy of the name. Hell yeah boys, now we are the Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland. And now we've got our new colonial flag. And now all of these are my core states. Now I'm the happiest person in the entire world. And now I can create a huge army. 100% of stability and 100% war support. That's all about Great Rhodesia. Any last words? Priyatel, Brudas, we are making it. We are making it pretty easily. Man, I took only 1000 Mozambique, but at least now we got our own access to the sea. Now we can compete with Union of South Africa for the status of the greatest power in the region. Now the only thing that I want to do is to kick Geringa's ass. Because Geringa is a strong regional power that must be destroyed. And we also have a good chance to liberate Kenya from the horrors of the German dictatorship. Mongolian Kekhanate in Bhutan. Just a normal day in Asia. Economic boom? Of course that's about us. And Traminuto Amigo will be destroyed. Gerenk won't be happy after getting news that we have started the Battle of Dar es Salaam, the capital of Geringia. This is the end for the Gerenk's state. Geringia, goodbye my love, goodbye. Burundi is mine as well as Kenya. And Tanzania is just Tanzania. The fate of Kenya, form the state of Kenya. And we also have liberated Burundi. So Antan's sphere of influence in Africa is getting bigger and bigger. As well as value of Rhodesia in the region. Am I proud of this great federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland? Yes.